we see that patients that um, have a left ventricular assist device because they suffer of uh, advanced heart failure, that uh, one of the major complications in these patients are uh, gastrointestinal bleedings, which occur in up to one third of the patients. And these bleedings, they have recently been linked to an acquired defect in the von Willebrand factor, which is called the acquired von Willebrand syndrome. And in these patients, we see that the high molecular weight VWF multimers, which are the hemostatically most active ones, that that they are that they disappear uh, in these patients due to the very high very high pathological shear stress um, which is causing the uh, unfolding of the von Willebrand factor thereby excessively cleaving uh, von Willebrand factor and this is done by the um, VWF cleaving protease ADAMTS 13 so in order to um, block this excessive cleavage of the von Willebrand factor by ADAMTS 13 we have generated an um, urine monoclonal antibody that can specifically block the enzyme ADAMTS 13 thereby um, blocking the um, excessive shear induced proteolysis of the von Willebrand factor and thereby we aim that by um, retaining these high molecular weight VWF multimers that the bleeding episodes that occur in these patients um, might be um, resolved. There is evidence in literature that um, the um, bleedings, that one of the major contrib contributing factor to these bleedings is the acquired von Willebrand syndrome. And we have nicely uh, demonstrated um, using both in vitro and in vivo experiments that uh, the cause of these, uh, of the loss of the high molecular weight VWF multimers is um, the shear induced proteolysis of VWF by ADAMTS 13. So there, therefore we have been generating an antibody that can specifically target ADAMTS 13 uh, and thereby preventing this um, excessive degradation of the von Willebrand factor. So by um, adding or by um, treating uh, patients using our novel um, antibody, which has been humanized in the meantime, we uh, aim to um, treat these bleeding episodes uh, during um, the uh, duration of um, LVAD support and thereby uh, improving the quality of life of these patients because, because the bleedings in these patients are um, not beneficial for the patient, of course, because they are linked with um, increased hospital stays and also increased costs. And for the moment there is no uh, targeted therapy that can um, treat the underlying pathophysiology of these bleedings.